Okay, the area where we're going to is called Maramba. So it's from the Maramba River down to Victoria Falls. There's a whole lot of hippos that live in there, and they're notoriously a very aggressive kind of part of hippos. Um, this area is super shallow, the water's fast moving, and then when you throw in the hippo danger, it's probably one of the most dangerous bits of the entire trip. And the most important thing here is that everyone on the boat works as a team, and um, we've got to get them out of the water as quickly as we can. Um, there's a lot of crocodiles, and the hippo danger is huge. Whenever a hippo is about, it's scary because you don't know what the, you know what they're capable of. So at the end of the day, you're putting your life in risk, really. And they wasn't that far away from us, so it's always scary. But yeah, at least we're still here. Greg Fred Houston spotted a couple of hippos, um, but you know we're always aware there was some greater threat lurking. But just exhausted, yeah. absolutely. Having had an accident, a quite a nasty accident already, you're just sort of that extra bit nervous because you, you have some sense of the power of the water and what it can do. It can just hold you where it wants, it can push you under, it can twirl you around and it's, um, you know, it's not, it's not like a ride, it's, it is genuinely, genuinely scary and the kind, of, it's the kind of thing that, you know, happens and you survive it and then, you know, when you're, when you're in your sleeping bag at night, you, you're thinking, I'm lucky to be here, you know. So they've made it through the hippo and crocodile infested waters and now it's time for a welcome surprise. Day four, and we have reached the breathtaking Livingston Falls. Um, words actually can't describe how amazing it is here, and it's also it feels like it's raining, which is amazing in 35 degree heat. But let's go and find out what they think of it. Oh, no! Fresh shower we've had in four days. It's almost like this is the, the, the edge of the world or something. It feels like that. At one point, I was standing over there, and the, there's the mist, and there's a rainbow that kind of comes and goes. And the whole rainbow is a total circle all around. It's just absolutely amazing. If I wasn't doing this job, I'd probably have been a geography teacher. So I love all this stuff. This is amazing. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like, I feel like I've been on the Titanic. It's great, particularly great because this is what we followed. You know, we followed this exact cloud of spray uh, and thought it was a magical and wonderful thing. It turns out, no, it's just really wet. So an incredible end to, to quite a tough day that day four has been. Um, tomorrow will be quite a hard day as well, I think. Day five, the final day, where they tackle the biggest rapids yet. We'll catch up with you then.